Yo, what's up everyone? Tonight, we're going to be starting off our first episode of this new format of Demo Days. And what we're going to be doing is tonight, we're going to be going through a specific design problem statement. If you would have had the problem statement of designing a one-pager website, what hmm. would be our ideal of the first approach that you would have taken, the first step that you would have taken? Usually, it's a good idea to spend some time immersing yourself in what we sometimes also call as problem space. Checking out what the app is, checking out what the status quo is, what does it look like right now? Understanding business, understanding what the different moving parts might be. This specific design problem statement was handpicked by me during the cohort a couple of weeks back. A bunch of cohort eight members have actually worked on this as well. So we're going to be showcasing some of that work. But before that, let me introduce you all to our guest for tonight. So folks, this is Shai. Shai is also a designer. He currently works as the lead product designer at Freshworks. Tonight, we're going to be going through one particular problem statement. And this is very similar to this thing we do. We started this in the last cohort. It's called Design Studio Simulator. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a quick audit tonight. And the brief that we have for tonight, we're going to be figuring out how do you design a one-pager website for a bus ticketing app specifically for Bharat. So this startup that we're going to be checking out it's called apni bus let's do a quick overview guys so whenever we start with a problem statement usually it's a good idea to spend some time immersing yourself in what we sometimes also call as problem space right so checking out what the app is checking out what the status quo is what does it look like right now understanding the business understanding what the different moving parts might be but apni bus they currently say they are Rajasthan's number one bus booking app, right? So overall, it seems like this is the legislative direction they're building towards. But tonight, we're not really going to be talking too much about the app, right? We'll talk specifically about the website. And why did I even pick this problem statement, right? The main reason was in Feb, I opened their website and this is what it looked like. And in fact, since then, They've also actually updated their website. So we'll check out what their current as well as, you know, a couple months ago website looked like. And then we'll try, let's try to identify what some problems are, right? So straight up, it's clear that they are building for, uh, let's just say, a regional user base, right? Hindi is, in fact, as their primary default language on this page. Let me read this so, to you guys, right? Ghar baithe, man chahi, bus book kare, right? So sitting at home, the bus of your choice, you can book it. Bus stand ki chinta se chutkari paaye. Right? What's the biggest problem in some ways? The bus stand ki chinta. But uh, Abhi, like, so a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, if you would have reversed the table, right? Like, and you had the problem statement uh, of designing a one-pager uh, website, what mm -hmm. would be your ideal of the, the first approach that you would have taken, the first step that you would have taken? I think the first step, what I always like to do is I like checking out what's current, right? The word I also sometimes use for this is just status quo. What's the current status quo? In this case, they already had a website. So this was my where I first started. It's kind of tricky, you know, designing website for this because you know that most people are probably coming from here. They're probably not coming from the website. They're probably directly coming from Play Store. So that was one thing where I was like, okay, the website, maybe it's not so important. But at the same time, you can't have no website, right? You do need to communicate. You will have traffic there. But so, audit is where I first started. Yeah. And uh, the May 2024 is the one that's live till now, correct? Yeah, yeah. Actually, let's talk about this. So that was Feb 24. In May, I just noticed, oh, they have a website redesign. And so I was like, okay, maybe they've actually fixed a bunch of this stuff. But um, looking at this, right, some of the changes they've made, like number one, they actually added a 
language picker, right? So now you can actually choose language. It seems like, you know, the thing you just said, actually, which is the desktop version. It seems like yeah. maybe there is a desktop version that they are building. So there is a sign up and login IC. It d clearly seems like that because the CTA, instead of just saying, check out the website, they've actually updated it to be, okay, you don't need to download it. If you're already here, might as well just get started with your search. So this has been added. But Shai, I was like, damn, like still not, I wasn't happy, right? The designer in me was still not happy, right? Because because I saw this, I was like, okay, good, they made an update. But then immediately I saw this and my heart was like, Are. now folks, can you tell me what's the problem with this? They added a CTA, which means they're building the, probably means they're building the web version of this. CTA still maintained, right? So not too deprioritized, it's still right here. One interesting thing, folks, you, that you can see is they have added some social proof, right? some new social proof, yeah. it's 5,000 buses, that's a big deal. Right. A quick tip to all of you guys, try using these numbers to kind of show confidence wherever possible. The main issue, how do you diagnose such issues? So firstly, what feels off to you? Just make a list, right? So personally, you can just make a list. Besides that, another thing to think about from a stakeholder perspective, they probably said by both important, they're dull, though it has to be very prominent, right? So from a client or the stakeholder, they're like, they've kind of forced you to do it. At the same time, you can kind of do it your the right way, right? So my issue here was this text is an H1, right? So this is supposed to be the most prominent, biggest heading on the page. Clearly, I had see this first. But at the same time, the minute you go here, this is also an H1, right? It seems like although this is a heading, you've it's been used here, 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 and in fact, maybe even inside the button, right? So this, from visual design perspective, it kind of all looks the same or kind of doesn't blend in, right? The way to do this would be take this card, look up some inspiration, maybe if it'll help, which is how do you in a website add an announcement section, right? There's a few ways you can add announcements. But then beyond that, think about hierarchy. The first thing I see here is actually this. Apni bus joins hands with Rajasthan Roadways. But then it says Rajasthan Roadways here, here, and here, right? So yeah. I would say, say Rajasthan Roadways once, like say, like this should probably be on top. So joins hands with Rajasthan Roadways. Then some context how ch how things change, what's new, something like that. And then if you want to add a CTA, I would say probably the label should be something like book now. Although in this case, I'm not sure what is the intention. Rest of this page though, guys, you can see clearly they are making some progress towards this direction, right? Just comparing, they've got a feature section, they've added some more social proof. They've got these two things that they're kind of talking about, which is you don't have to wait at the bus stop. So my guess is their research shows that this is the biggest problem people have. So probably this, um, they're trying to sweeten the deal. So some incentive, which is you can get discounts and these coins. In fact, even a coupon right here, more social proof, which is nice to see, right? Earlier, I think the only social proof here was this. And you know, I won't just call it social proof. I'll say it's a way to show confidence and trust, right? So you've shown that with numbers, you've shown it with this way. This, however, uh, this is not it. Um, who are these guys? Who are these people? She is not a happy Apni bus user. She looks like she's not in India. Besides that, another thing I noticed is, you know, spacing. Now you notice this is a section and this is a section, but it almost feels like these sections are connected, right? So there is actually no spacing that's been added. And in fact, there's been way too much spacing added here, which is, I feel like this image and this text, they don't feel related at all. You could bring them closer and, you know, maybe even put these as bullet points. Okay, folks. So let's check out our first submission to give you some context. This was a 14 day deadline. Let's look at the first one. So this is by Akash. This is his redesign of the Apni bus page. This was done sometime in, I would say, Feb or March when their current website was this. A couple of things that I saw when I saw this landing page, Akash has retained the brand. He has made sure that, okay, there's consistency in terms of brand identity. Uh, may, I'm not sure about the font actually, but then like in terms of color palette, uh, all of those are very well done. Uh, I really liked it. Although one small thing that I actually saw was like in his research part that he has written, he has actually said that like, hey, he has put all the brand colors over here. And uh, when I looked at it, if this is the brand color, which has been produced by Ap uh, Apni Bus, then there is like inconsistency between the color shades. 
uh, there was or is it like akash who has actually mm-hmm. derived the color shades i'm not sure but actually there was inconsistency in between the color shades that's one second point to it is like if apniverse has redesigned to may 2024 the one that you showed me uh, having an actionable cta and search on top is the go to way just because i believe that how people perceive uh, applications in the market i've seen booking.com i've seen make my trip i have seen uh, redbus and all of them perform the same way that i go there i search for the place i search for the city to the destination and i choose the timing and then i end up with uh, an aggregation of buses so uh, i think we shouldn't change that formula uh, i would want to retain that formula is something that i might i thought okay maybe uh, that's something like uh, has changed into what it has done mm. uh, so i would try to retain what people know and people understand and what people expect and second to it is like the way he has used illustration i really loved it he has given a humane touch to it this has given that familiarity to me right it feels like another uh, even though it's an illustration i feel that okay it's a indian illustration it's an indian person mm, right yes yes but again if you think about the persona like like i said if i if it's going to be my dad or like people who are going to be at like 30s or 40s will they be able to relate with the illustrations is a big question that i have and that's possibly why policy bazaar or any other why i'm this stuck on these two platforms like these are stealth competitors if you look at what policy bazaar is doing as an aggregation platform and the cities that they're targeting is what apni bus is also kind of doing right but just different mm. streams and different that they provide so uh, looking at that policy bazaar has never deviated from using real humans and mm. maybe people can match with that that's that's just a question on top of my mind and maybe for me and for you and for the people in this cohort they would want illustration they want that uh, uniqueness and uh, mm. that but again it depends on this person that you're targeting and mm. i really love the, uh, uh, how he has highlighted the numbers but all what i would have done is like possibly push the numbers on top right and if mm. if if that that impactful like possibly mm. could have been on mm. and uh, you just need to think like if people are coming on mobile view they have to do a lot of scrolls to see the data and uh, and the information that we are providing here including live bus tracking cheap fare guaranteed seats is is genuinely something that anybody would expect right mm. these are few data anybody who comes on the platform would expect so i might push it down uh and uh, try to push this up social uh, aspects and the numbers up mm, uh, right interesting makes uh, sense right and- which is i think this is a very interesting way to show trust by showing social proof and i think this kind of goes see two approaches here right just to kind of recap for you guys what shai was mentioning two approaches right this is social proof it adds trust same with this social proof adds trust now what shai is mentioning is these features what he's saying is move this on top move this and possibly can be combined here uh, exactly the title could have been infused actually like uh, the trusted companies and the number of buses that we have or the number of users that we have we in an infused title and then have the data points on the right side with the companies on the left hand side so it could have been a yeah. uh, personally I, approach yeah. yeah personally i'm okay with both approaches which is i i've kind of seen like my observations is a lot of companies or most a lot of landing pages today this kind of social proof and trust is kind of sprinkled throughout multiple times so i guess the approach akash is taking is let's kind of break it up let's reinforce it multiple times my observation so bang on on the reg- regionality uh, let's just say diversity of illustrations right right the only other way to do it yeah exactly how shai mentioned was use real images right you might not always have real images so you know uh i can see akash has used these illustrations other than that on brand i think what was what i liked was now apnibus currently their let's just say their brand is just the green that's the kind of main brand they have so my guess yeah. on your previous question shai is yeah i think he has just expanded on that original which is yeah. using a different green right i guess this maybe works better but kind of also going into other pastels and stuff now personally whether this is the right brand decision or not i mean that's up for a collaborative discussion but i like that you took the core features here talking about the hindi one though i would say my like it looks cool but my i didn't really love the font right and i it does feel like akash is testing out what the font is which is i i see shubham's comment as well which is what should be the default my like hindi or english my guess is maybe hindi should be default since that's how they've done it but then i think this is a bigger discussion to have with the team because their old version had hindi as default new version they i think switched to english as the default i would also suggest a middle approach shai i think what do you think about this like a english plus 
this kind of approach so that adds more credibility right like we can take up mm. a data saying that people can read english but if they see hindi over there they'll be like hey it's native i can connect with it right mm. so um, i think that would be a nice approach yeah and in terms of the color palette right using a pastel shade i've seen this as a push back with a lot of the new generation people also the millennials and gen zs right like even if you look at millennials they might be okay but i've seen only like 10 20% being really supportive of pastel colors i really like it maybe because we are design centric and i'm really worried about using pastel colors because like uh, the moment i start using it on my landing pages i get a lot of push back i get what you mean which is i like mm-hmm. it because to me it gives the sticky notes type of vibe i can imagine like people thinking this looks unprofessional like jatang lag raha hai matlab pink dal diya matlab you know oh and and talking about the color palette not only the pastel part using so many different colors in one section can also off put certain people like i'm not sure to what extent if you look at 10k as a brand right like it has so many different colors in the landing page but it goes well with the brand but when you look at brands like apni bus you can't because like i i think if abhinav has i, I think this word abhinav would have thought right a design that is everlasting like it it just i don't have to touch that design ever again like it is going to be super cool it's going to be there for a longer time but when you look at apni bus they have to capture the current market they have to keep evolving as they grow so i wouldn't play around with having a lot of different colors yeah personally i think for a concept design it's okay but in a real scenario you would probably want to make a another variation of this which is the safer variation and then just have both so that a conversation can happen right a good informed conversation because in the end people might say which i feel this i feel that but the minute you show them both they're like oh, okay now i can see that now i get it but overall um akash killer job okay really nice job yeah. on this i think looks really good um you went a little bit above and beyond you know prototyping these individual bentos so really nice on that too um real quick folks if you want to check out some of their work here if you are hiring a designer for your company and you really like some of the work you saw here feel free to reach out to akash zainab or radhika i've included their work here all right folks thanks a lot for attending we will see you in the next session which will be next friday we'll keep you all posted on discord twitter all right guys see you bye bye thank you so much guys bye